yeah, I feel like it's kind of an open, closed case here. Like, you know, you probably shouldn't be in power if you're doing shitty stuff, so. He's a good governor. He's beautiful. He does what he wants to do. He's in hot okay. water. He wants to, like, he loves his aides, but he don't like to give us any aid. Hey-o. Asshole. Asshole. He is an asshole, bro. Like, right. disappear, and this is not the go to jail, talking. fucking, whether it's prison or another planet, either way, he's got to go. As terrible as it is, the sexual harassment allegations that are apparently, allegedly true, uh, it's just icing on the cake and ammunition to use uh, in favor of his re resignation, which I'm definitely in favor of. Get him the fuck out of there. I think he sucks ass, and uh, he should probably not have that position in government, and he is, uh, yeah, pretty much a piece of shit. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything I have to say. Never been a fan. The guy is a power monger. Like, he is satisfied with imposing all these rules on people that he himself doesn't even follow. It's, oh, rules for thee, but not for me. That's what I've always thought about Andrew Cuomo. So, yeah, if, if you want to ask me my honest opinion, I don't think he's a good leader. I don't think he ever was, especially during this pandemic. That fucking guy wrote a book about how to handle pandemics. I don't think so. He was the fucking worst guy with this shit. Guys, a plot for creep, but get him out of here. Like a year ago, he was giving daily briefings and he did a fantastic job with that. But then you find out like what's going on behind the scenes and it's kind of not worth it. I think his, his time might be up. You know what's strangest thing to me about Andrew Como is I know some like real like weirdos are eating the whole bird. And they got a problem with Cuomo, and a problem with Trump, and a problem with Biden, and a problem with me, and a problem with you. But they look like Andrew Cuomo, I fucking swear, they got the same haircut and shit! It's disappointing, but not really that surprising. Like, I had, I had thought for a long time that Cuomo was, like, a fine neoliberal politician, but, um, I don't know, there's so many stories coming out these days about men who are supposedly progressive treating women badly and it's to the point where I'm not really surprised anymore and um, honestly I'd have more respect for him if he just owned up to it rather than denying it because there's been a thorough investigation we know what happened and he's just kind of gaslighting us at this point point. Um, and I honestly think he should resign um, I mean I I've been following it I wouldn't say I've been following it closely but feels like there's a pretty simple answer here um, feels like it's pretty straightforward um, Seems like we kind of have a double standard for politicians and, and how we kind of, you know, evaluate them and their choices outside of the political sphere and, and give them a little bit too much 